Some games mean more than just three points, and this is one of those two old rivals going head to head. It's Leeds United taking on Manchester United, and this is the warm up. Coming up for you on the show this week. I think it will be more funny when I understand him every single word. My name is Robin the Killer Koch. And the bus was getting shaken and, and battered. And <laughs> These days it's, it's Dom doing the shaking of the bus outside the hotel on the morning. So not <laughs> yeah. we told you about it. So it doesn't get much bigger than this, and joining me to look ahead to Leeds against Man United is Dom Matteo as always. Dom, how are you? Very well, thank you. Looking okay. forward to it. Um, in the changing rooms here today, a place you've changed many a time. <laughs> There'll be 11 players Sunday lunchtime, getting ready to walk through that door, through the tunnel and onto the Ellen Road pitch. As a Leeds United player, what's that going to sound like in the ears when they get onto that pitch? It's going to be noisy. Let's hope, well, let's hope it's going to be noisy. And I think it's the game for me that you wanted to win more than any. It's such a big rivalry, isn't there, between Leeds and Man United. Two great clubs, obviously we know their history, we don't want to talk about that. But yeah, they're, they're a great club, obviously, and all the things they've done and, and you know, the things they've won, amazing. But this game is a one-off game. There's so much at stake, for, especially for us as well at this, this moment in time, is because Man United, in my opinion, are in great form. They aren't, um, but they, they're grinding a couple of results out. And when they play against Leeds, they'll be up for it. Um, Unfortunately, I'm sure they will be. And like you say, with, the, with, our, with our fans, they're going to be right up for it as well. So I'm so excited about this game. I really mean that. It's one of those games that you do look forward to. And when, and when it comes around, it's like countdown, isn't it? And you're waiting for it to start. And I'm, like you say, I'm uh, pretty excited at the moment. Hopefully we can get the win. There is that nervous anticipation ahead of the game. Did you feel that as a player before a big game like that? Or is it just approach it in the same way? It's just another game? Or do you start to feel that excitement? I think, obviously, looking back, you know, we're talking like 20 years ago for me. I mean, my memory's not great. But no, I think, listen, I know how important this was for the fans to try and dig a result out in one way or the other. Um, and under Fergie, it was very difficult. They had a good side. Um, but we did manage to get a few results, which was great. And yeah, I think, again, for the, for the lads who are going to be playing, who are starting this game, I think that's massive. And I think they'll want to put a show on a little bit as well because obviously the results haven't been as we probably predicted this season but I think now for me this is another chance to give the fans a bit summer so that's that's really important that the, the fans are on board for this one because they need we need help don't we against the top side and I think man you are a good side but I think the fans will be a massive part in this result as well. We know how noisy it's going to be. I mean, from my era, it was so noisy. Even Fergie's talked about it. I've heard Paul Scholes talk about the atmosphere at Erin Road, how intimidating it was. And it's true, but that's what we need to create. And the fans are going to have to play a big part in this game. Uh, someone who knows what it's like to play for both teams. Uh, Lee Sharp will be joining very shortly to uh, have a chat with in his, in his bar in Spain. Yes. So prepare to be uh, jealous ahead of that one. Uh, in terms of the game going into this one, Leeds come on the uh, back of a difficult result at Goodison Park, having played really well at Villa. Yeah. Uh, it, it didn't go to Planet Everton, did it really? No, it didn't. Um, obviously, touching on, on the Villa one first, I thought the performance was excellent. Probably a bit unlucky not to win it. Then you just want that progression, don't you? You want to see another good performance. Didn't happen for whatever reason. Um, I don't know why. You know, obviously, it, it, I'm sure the players again, and we've said this a few times, will have had a get, get together and a bit of a chat, like what went wrong. Because that's what happens nowadays. And everything's analysed, isn't it? And we look at everything. Um, but for this game, it's a one-off against Man United. It's a one-off game. But, you know, when you look back at the Everton performance in general, it wasn't good enough. Let's be honest, it wasn't great. But again, put that to bed now and let's think about the next game and how important this next game is because after this game, we've got Liverpool and then we've got Tottenham at home. So it's like, we've got some big games coming up as well. So it's very important that we do start well against United because they'll be up for it as well and so will their fans. But yeah, so put the Everton one to bed and let's concentrate on this Man United game. You had mentioned after Villa about Rodrigo's performance. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. You know, Rodrigo against Everton was the closest we came and twice. How yeah. unlucky was he? Two shots from distance. Yeah, no, and I think we have seen better. Um, we've seen glimpses of, of what Rodrigo can bring. And I think he will get better um, within time. I think, you know, sometimes we analyse again so much about everything, but them, them two hits he had off, off the bar were absolutely outstanding. The keeper had no chance. Pickford was, you know, was just diving, wasn't he? But they were, they were flying in. Just so unlucky, but 
that's that's football, isn't that's the Premier League. You know, it's fine margins that get you over the line. We didn't, and I think generally against Everton, we weren't good enough. They, they were up for it more than us. It, and it was another opportunity. That's the one I, I always see against certain clubs. You have to highlight the opportunity of getting points, and we didn't. Even getting a point against Everton would have been good, but it didn't happen that way. And again, we've got to forget about that now and move forward. Is this in some ways kind of a perfect fixture, really? Because yeah. we've got this run of fixtures coming up and against such a big rival, there's no opportunity to be thinking about last week. You've no. got to focus on this one and you've got to try and get the result. And there's no hiding, is there, in these big games, especially this game. There's no hiding in it because the fans will expect passion and they'll expect the players to have a right good go and we'll have to match them physically. And that's where, you know, at times, have we been physical enough? Maybe in certain games we've seen that physicality, but I want to see more. You've got to be physical against them. You have to be, especially in such... I always see this as, you know, it's like War of the Roses. I know I'll probably get told off, I say, but it kind of feels like that to me as well. And I just, I just feel it's a massive game. And then for both clubs as well. And both, both clubs will want to win this game. I know it's, they say that every week, but there is that rivalry. There is. I feel it, and I'm not even playing. But I do, I do feel like it. I want to watch Leeds beat this lot. I do, I really do, but it's going to be hard. So we've got to start well and we've got to do a lot better than what we did against Everton. If we play like that against United, Ellen Road, we'll get done. So again, it's about how we start. We, how we, start. we started really well against Villa, but we didn't follow up. For me, it's about following up a good performance with another one. So another opportunity, start again, get a decent result against United, then we move to Anfield and we go into that one. That's how we've got to look at it. OK, um, we'll hear from inside the Leeds camp with Junior Firpo very shortly. Before we do, let's get your uh, week's predictions on the Premier League action. And one game that sort of stands out a little bit for me uh, away from Ellen Road. Uh, West Ham against Newcastle. Man United obviously in that fourth spot at the moment. West Ham with a late equaliser against Leicester. Newcastle suddenly. Kieran Trippier's out now for a bit, but suddenly they picked up a couple of wins as well. Yeah, I mean, listen, we've seen what's happened with Newcastle. They've, they've, they've got a few bob now, let's be honest. Um, but they've also, like you said, they've brought some good players in also. So I think, yeah, West Ham have had a brilliant season again um, under David Moyes. We've talked about them before, haven't we? How, how well organised and how, how well structured they are. And also, they're quite a big physical team as well. But so are Newcastle. So I think it'll be a really... A, Really interesting game, to be honest, and, and uh, uh, one for uh, someone to go and watch. If you know, obviously, I don't support any of them team teams, but I think it'd be a good game to watch. I think there might be a few goals in it, um, and I think Newcastle are on the way up. And obviously, Eddie Howe, um, for him, you know, getting a few good results like that will give him confidence and give his players confidence. So yeah, going to be a good game. I, I generally think, <laughs> I think, I think it'd probably be a draw. I know I keep <laughs> I keep saying that, but I think there'll be a few goals in it. Maybe a. A 2-2, two, two, something like that for me. All right, watch out for those splinters. <laughs> Junior, thanks so much for joining us on the warm-up this week. Really appreciate your time. How's, uh, how's things with you? How's things in the camp at the moment? What's the mood like going into this big game at the weekend? Hello. Um, yeah, it's it's an important weekend. Um, a difficult game, a hard game. We know the the, the importance of, of this game for for us, for the fans, for the for the the, quali the qualification now, no? Uh, now a moment. So I think we will try to to give our best. We will try to to give uh, one reason for the fans to be happy and pass the weekend with a with the winning and with the three points. How important is this game for you personally as well? Because obviously I know you've been out with, with, an, with an injury. How are you feeling at the moment? How's things? Yeah, I feel really good. Uh, I think we did a, a good recovery, uh, faster than we, that we think. Because at the moment that I had my injury, we were talking about uh, six, eight weeks at the, the start. And now I'm just four weeks and three days. So pretty, pretty good uh, recovery. Uh, I feel really good. I finished the training session now, so I had I have good feelings and I have good feelings too for the for this game. I think we will we will do a, a good performance and hopefully we can we can win the game. What what do you know think about the you know the rivalry between obviously Leeds and Manchester United? Obviously, I played in them games myself, um, and I know what that atmosphere is like and how, how intense it is to play in a game like this. So you guys obviously 
being involved must be absolutely buzzing to, to, to maybe be involved in this game because for me it was always the best games to play against the best teams and obviously Man United have got a great history so how important is it for the fans and for, and for yourselves to, to get a good result against a, a team like Man United? Yeah, I'm really excited to see the to see the fans against Man United. I cannot I cannot imagine how they will be because I, I I saw them whole the season, you know, against any team uh, supporting us. Uh, incredible in the in the other stadiums when we play away. So I'm I, I just want to see how they are this weekend, you know, against the the biggest rival um, at home playing at home. So. I, I just want to see. I'm uh, I'm so excited. You're in for a treat, let me tell you. <laughs> has um, has Calvin been in your ear? Has he been telling you about Leeds against Man United and just making sure that all the players who who maybe uh, you know haven't grown up with this as a as a fixture that they've been watching out for that they know how important this one is, Junior? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. All the all the lads, all the lads. I I ask uh, a few of them, especially for example Jack, because I, I I talk with him. Uh, every single day. <laughs> so I talked with him and he explained me a little bit how important is the game for, for, for all the people here in Leeds. So yes, I, as I told you before, I, I just want to see the fans, but as well I want to see my teammates, you know, the, the rivalry we have in Spain. In my, my first team in, in Betis, we have one special game too against Seville. So I can imagine it will be something, something similar and and I, I just, I just want to play, and you, I just want to see the fans, and hopefully, I just want to win and and give this to the fans because this season is, is is it's doing a little bit difficult for us, you know, for us, for all the people here, a lot of injuries, uh, results that we we didn't deserve. So, so we we just want to give this 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 reason for the fans for be happy, you know. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously this, this game has is so many special memories for so many Leeds fans. And obviously Man United have been so successful. For me, th this is the one game that when I played, I always wanted to do well against United because you can feel the passion. I mean, I think when I played in this game, I think it was like 11.30 kickoff in the morning because the rivalry was that intense back then. I mean, I might be wrong on that time, but I think, I, I think I'm right. It was an early kickoff because... People were getting so excited. We have to make the kick, we had to kick off earlier, so there was no um, you know it's just the people just getting so much wanting to do well in this game, and the fans will be so up for this. So again, I think the fans are going to play a massive part in this game. For sure, the fans always always play a massive a massive part of the game for us, but especially this game. I I know you are you are telling me about how exciting you are. Maybe uh, I, I I will cannot sleep the the night before the game. <laughs> I definitely couldn't, don't worry. <laughs> Junior, if you want, we can have Dom come in and do the, uh, the team talk if you want before and just uh, make sure everyone's up for it if you want. I, I think can be really good. <laughs> okay. uh, let me ask you, because we, we first spoke, Junior, back when you signed for the club in the, uh, the summer. It was a pretty nice day from what I remember. You were looking forward to being part of Leeds United. We're now in a uh, slightly less pleasant weather in February in Leeds. How have you found your time in the city? How have you found the people? And have you settled in well? Yeah, it's settling really well. I think the most important is my family is is, is really good here. They are really happy, uh, and especially I just want to say um, this club, uh, all the people, all the staff that that work here, grateful for all of them, all the fans for the first moment that I arrive and I play first time for the for for this team. All of them give me a a warm welcome, you know. You know? So I just want to to give to give back to them. I, I just want to play again. I, I just want to hopefully don't injure more. Uh, no more COVID, no more injury. Can play every single game and, and try to do my best and, and give all in the pitch for, 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 for welcome back to them, you know? Yeah, the one thing I've noticed about you guys as a group as well, how well you all seem to get on and the camaraderie you have between each other as a team. I, I think that's massively important especially when you're going through maybe a, a, a tougher time. Um, I think it's so important that you stick together as a team. You listen sometimes to, obviously, to your manager and also maybe Coops, when, you know, when Coops is fit and stuff, obviously the captain. They make a, they, they're such a big part in the club, aren't they, as well? You know, from, from your point of view, have the lads made it really easy for you to integrate with them as well? Yeah, uh, I promise you it's, it's, it's really difficult to find uh, a dressing room like this, like this one, you know. All the guys are... 
are amazing. You know, all of them, there are a few of them that are really, really good teammates and that's really important. The, the energy that, that, that all, of the, all of them have is, is really good, no? They, as you can see, all the all the um, the players that are new in in this team always say the same because because it's the truth, you know. If I'm I don't know the sporting director or the president of one team, I say to to the guy that signed the players, you have to try to find good players but also good people, you know. And I think we have both here. I always like to ask this question: Who's the funniest in the dressing room? Funniest person, or is there a few? Luke Aylin for sure, but um, <laughs> <laughs> he, gets, he gets a good mention. He does, does, yeah, yeah. He does. I think will be more funny when I understand him every single word. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny now, it's really funny, but imagine when I understand him perfectly. <laughs> yeah. um, Junior, it's been great to speak to you. Um, we'll leave it there. Before. We don't want Dom getting too excited before the big match. So uh, uh, good luck to all the boys for the weekend and let's hope we're all smiling come Sunday afternoon, mate. Good luck and thank you. Thank you. Hey, my name is Robin, the Killer Koch, and this is my 9 dart challenge. Bro, I'm going for your record, eh? That is not bad start. That's a solid start. See? What's the record? 183 is my hand. This is unlucky. Well, Lee, thanks for joining us on the warm-up. Dom, you had uh, Mark Viduka on for us last week, showing off the uh, the ocean in Croatia. Now we've got Lee showing off. Where exactly are you, Lee? <laughs> we're getting a bit jealous, mate. Uh, we're, in, we're in Spain. We're in Javier, just uh, just above Alicante and just below Valencia. So it's uh, a glorious day. 20 degrees outside, so it's lovely. Thanks for telling us that, mate. Yeah, <laughs> leave it yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, leave <laughs> that, will you? <laughs> All right, look, we're, we're sat here in the, in the changing rooms here at Ellen Road. You know, you're looking down the camera and you can see that in the background. What are those memories that... First spring to mind when you you see this in the background? Uh, so a, mi a mixture, really. Uh, a great bunch of lads. It's a great club to play for. Um, unfortunately, didn't quite get across the line a couple of things we, uh, we were attempting to do. Uh, a couple of managerial changes that were sort of a little bit unrest, but uh, an unbelievable time there. An unbelievable set of lads, like I said. Great uh, great team spirit. Some great times and, uh, and, and fond memories. Yeah, I suppose, well, Lee, you had obviously a, a tough time with the injury, didn't you, uh, when you got to Leeds? Was it your crew shoot you did back then? Yeah, it was uh, It was a bit of a stop-start season, the first one. Uh, Howard Wilkinson bought me and then got sacked after about a month of me being there. George Graham came in, who was uh, a bit a bit towards the, let's say, the defensive side rather than uh, <laughs> offensive. So was a, that was a tough tough season to, to come into the club, especially from the club I'd come from. And then the second season, I'd done a bit of training myself uh, during close season. I got myself fit. But I was looking forward to the second season and, and sort of uh, enjoying my football again. And then the last game of pre-season, the week before the season started, I uh, went to Nottingham Forest and I snapped my cruise shirt. So I was out for pretty much the whole of that season. So uh, disappointing times for me, but, uh, but still good memories, to be fair. So let's go on to this weekend's game, uh, Leeds United against Man United. You know both the clubs, obviously. What is the intensity like in this game, coming at it from both angles? I think it's probably as intense as it gets in, in the Premier League. I think... Um, the only thing I can think of that was slightly more tense was maybe Man United Galatasaray when we went there and it was uh, we were getting death threats and all the rest of it. But certainly from a domestic level, I don't think you get any any stronger rivalry. I think uh, there's certainly a, a hate, an underlying hatred between the fans, uh, which makes it very hostile when, when you go to the away games. But the intensity and the hostility and, and the noise is, is what you play the game for. And, you know, if you can play games like that every week, more the better. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, I always found that there was just that little bit of an edge for me when you played against you know against Man U, and obviously you played for both. Um, but from my point of view, that was the one game I think, and for the fans as well, you wanted to win that game because it meant so much. And obviously, Man U with their history, you always knew it was going to be a tough 
a tough game. It was hard to get results, especially at that period. You know, when you started as well, Shop, you had such a great team, didn't you, as well? So you had so many match winners. It didn't change when I got there. You had so many good players. So it was always a difficult game, but we all knew, didn't we, how important it was to try and get get even a point against United at that, that time of their career because they were absolutely flying, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, the, the rivalry and the, and the fierceness of the game always made it a tough game. And I think we, were, we always went in um, not really considering form, not considering where anybody was in the league. I think it was always a one-off game that, that stood stood alone and, uh, I'll say, two games, let's say, home and away. But um, they, they certainly stood away. You, you looked at from on the fixture list when the, when the fixtures come out at the start of the season. Uh, and, yeah, there, there was always that excitement, um, a, a little bit of fear going into it. The tackles were always going to be flying in. It was always going to be 100 mile an hour. No one was going to give a, give a yard. Um, uh, and they were, they were fantastic games to play in. Was it, was it true that... Um... Obviously, Alex Ferguson used to like that hit that game, and I've I've heard other players, Scholes, and other people talk about that game, about the actual how hard it was to play with the atmosphere at Ellen Road. Was it was it was it like that at times when you played for both clubs? Yeah, I think I think coming to Ellen Road as a as a Manchester United player was one of the loudest, most hostile, frightening places to come. Uh, it, it started when you came out of the hotel. It came. It started. You know, it carried on. When the bus pulled up outside the ground and the, and the bus was getting shaken and and, battered <laughs> and battered security guard shepherding you in and, uh, and then you come out of the tunnel and you get abused and whistled at and, and shouted at during the warm-up and then the noise just before kickoff is you can't hear yourself think you can't hear you shout to your teammate five yards next to you and you, and you can't hear each other so uh, that's the <laughs> intensity of it but uh i, I have to say I, I love those kind of games and uh I think, it, I think they're awesome to play in. Uh, these days, it, it's Dom doing the shaking of the bus outside the hotel on the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Not that yeah. we told you about it. We'll have to uh, <laughs> keep him clear from security. Uh, looking at Leeds at the moment, over the last few years, Lee, you had much chance to uh, watch much of Leeds and under Marcelo Bielsa. What have you thought to this latest generation, this latest crop of players? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of things to like. I think they came to the Premier League and and, uh, and set it alight. I think the way they played, the positivity, the way they went forward, every pass was to look forward. Uh, they won the ball back quickly. Um, they, they were a breath of fresh air. A few injuries have, have made things really difficult for them. Um, and, and, then, and then again, you know, the manager seems to like to play the same 11 every week. And I think that's a really difficult thing to do in this league when it's so fast and physical. But uh, I do think he's doing a great job. He's got some great young players there. I think the senior players, uh, Rafinha, and um, they have missed Bamford a lot this year. I think Daniel James has done well since he's come in. So uh, I think they've still got the basis and the nucleus of a, of a really good side. Lee, it's been great chatting to you. Thanks so much for joining us on the warm-up. Let's not ruin it now when I actually ask you for your uh, match prediction uh, for, <laughs> the, for the weekend. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Come on, just remember the audience you're talking to, that's all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, um, obviously, both teams are not, not having the greatest season, but well, like I said before, you take form out of it. Uh, some great players on the pitch. I, th I think Leeds will definitely cause... Man United some troubles defensively. They're, they're definitely rocky there. But I also think that Man United going forward have got some some superstars. So I'm going to go for a high scoring 2-2 draw. He's absolutely <laughs> bottled it. Unbelievable. <laughs> um, hey, 2-1, we'll take it. We'll Lee. take that, we'll take um, it. Lovely chatting to you. Enjoy the Spanish sunshine yeah. and we'll speak soon. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers, Lee. See you soon. Cheers, Lee. See you Thanks soon. So huge seven days for Leeds United, Man United here, then it's away to Liverpool and Spurs at home. It's what you look for, isn't it, when you're in the, in the Premier League. These are the games, but it all starts Sunday lunchtime here. The players will leave here, go out onto the pitch to, to do the business. Start of this game, as we've seen against other games against Man U, if you don't get it right at the start, you can be in trouble. Yeah, for certain. I think, obviously, listen, we, we've seen what happened in the, in, the, in the first game. So we don't want to repeat of that, let's be honest. We want a better performance. Forget what happened at Everton, and it's all about now moving into this next next game. We know there's some tough games coming up. You've just, we've just mentioned that, but it's all about this game, and especially for the fans. You know, We've all touched on that. It's so important for the fans. And, and even, I think it's, this is a result. If we can get a result in this game, it'll give us so much confidence going into the Liverpool and the Tottenham game. Because they're hard games. Let's not... Let's, let's be honest about it they're really tough games but this one could be a catalyst to, to drag us forward and get you know and, and again get the energy back around the squad I felt like it was there at Villa 
We played, played so well. And then again, it's the dip. It's, I think it's about the consistency. I want to see a more consistent Leeds United. And that's, that's how I think we'll improve. All right, we'll sign off then with Dom's uh, prediction. For this week, always get your prediction. What are you thinking? Well, I'll be honest. This was a hard decision, but I'm going to go for Leeds United 5, Manchester United 0. No. Sounds good. Uh, if that comes off, by the way, you're flying us all out to Lee Sharp's bar in I Spain. I will indeed, Sharpie. For get a, ready. <laughs> for a beer. OK, enjoy the match. It's a huge one, as always. The action on LUTV with your commentary team of Bryn Law and Tony DiRigo. <laughs>